Jack's story began in May of 2005. We went through a normal pregnancy, all the prenatal care, we had ultrasounds. Uh, pregnancy was going along great. Jack was born via C-section at 4.30 in the afternoon. And uh, again, everything was going as smooth as could be until they took Jack to give him his first bath. And that's when our world was turned upside down. And Jack um, had very difficult time breathing and was turning blue. And you think, oh my gosh, what in the heck is going on? Uh, why? why us why now it was you know several hours until we could really find out what was going on and we finally got a diagnosis said he had a was born with a condition called tricuspid atresia and it's a condition where he was born without a valve in his heart so so jack had his first surgery when he was nine days old they took Jack to the operating room from the uh, intensive care unit and we were left in the waiting room just waiting out the entire surgery. What's going to happen? The surgery itself went fine. Uh, they would call and give us updates uh, regularly and at one moment they call and they say we're going to have to stop Jack's heart um, but don't worry it'll start up on its own again. So he made it through uh, his first surgery and came back um, to the pediatric intensive care unit where uh, it became a very long night after his first surgery. Finally got him stabilized and it wasn't uh, long after that that Jack began to code and rush and in rushed um, a crowd of folks and they were there to save his life. Jack spent 40 days in the hospital at the University of Iowa and was able to come home uh, in the middle of June and uh, we were living in Storm Lake at the time and we also um, knew that he was going to have to have two more surgeries. Um, he was four months old when he had his second surgery in Iowa City. His third surgery was when he was um, five years old and just about ready to enter kindergarten. I remember our one of our pediatric cardiologists talking about a time where someday these uh, conditions may be able to be fixed in utero. So I think the research that has gone into uh, pediatric cardiology is a big plus. Today Jack is thriving. We are so lucky he functions like a normal 11 year old. He's able to go to school, he's able to participate in activities. He especially enjoys band, theater, uh, he loves to sing. He came home on a list of medications and is down to one baby aspirin a day. I don't feel a, a lot different, it's just that I can't like participate in a lot of the activities that other kids can, but then I just find substitutes for those. I just wish that in a perfect world that no one had to go through any of this.